Hey guys, um, yeah, you didn't expect this, did you? Um, <laughs> yeah, apparently, um, SB Big Mills actually gave me this game because apparently it's about aliens, and uh, he figured, and she figured that too, since I've encountered the aliens before, and uh, of course those uh, those same aliens abducted my uh, brother long ago. I figured, why not play a like an alien game? And uh, with me, surprisingly, for this uh, random game is Heidi. Say hi. Hello, Kyle. Yeah, it's been a long time since we actually uh, talked to each other on, on one of these videos. It sure has. <laughs> You're acting a bit mischievous. Oh, am I? Hm, I didn't know. Okay, <laughs> I hope this is some kind, of, some kind of like a prank, is it? <laughs> of course it's not a prank. Well, hey, anyway, yeah, we're, play we're, we're playing the uh, Destroy All Humans. One giant step on mankind. <laughs> <laughs> Fitting, really. Yeah. yeah the, uh, oh, yeah, see data. Let's go that. This was apparently a remake of the... the first PS2 game. Humans of planet Earth, the uh, via while well, the experience ha has been upgraded. <coughs> the content and historical record of the original invasion of the film remains in a nearly identical clone. The story, words, and images continue with it may be shocking, okay? <laughs> also done! <laughs> you won't stand a chance. What? Nothing. Hello, friends. Have you ever gazed up into the night sky and wondered at the possibility of life on other planets? Marvelous beings might exist out there, hands extended in friendship, awaiting the moment when we humans take our first tentative steps into space. What tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars? Brothers? I'm not sure, I'm not sure if I can, uh, okay, destroy all humans. I'm not sure if I could consider the aliens brothers. <laughs> okay? <laughs> As if. All systems go, General. Four. Come on, baby. Show us what you got. Three. Oh, graphics look uh, nice. Oh. Two. What mm -hmm. in the blue blazes is that? One. No, wait. Stop the countdown. The heck? <laughs> Since we're there, we're playing destroying, destroying humans. We're gonna play playing some kind of psychotic alien, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds fun. I guess <laughs> you're acting weird, Heidi. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh oh! <gasps> yeah, yeah, it's crawling now. Human civilization, here we come. Oh. Uh. Uh. Oh, yeah, he, okay, he fainted. <laughs> oh, I thought he was gonna go, like, uh, uh, throw down on the, uh, those guys. <laughs> A shame. I should never have sent you. Yeah, that's the leader. Shaking, Pox? You look a little, what's the word? Constipated. <laughs> Constipated? <laughs> Let's just say I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. <laughs> you lost me. <laughs> you lost me. <laughs> Shall I tell you a secret? Few of our people know this, but the DNA patterns in our cloning banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone. That's bad. Only if we want to retain uh -huh. our immortality through cloning. Of course it's bad! I sent Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. A planet seeded with pure Furon DNA. But I lost contact. Let me get this straight. You sent me, uh, him, Crypto-136, to a hostile planet and he's disappeared. Maybe captured, maybe even being tortured as we speak. 
Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusions. I hmm. bet you yeah. wouldn't. Let me tell you something, Pox. You're a smart cookie. But there's a time for thought, and there's a time for action. And this is one of those times. Which? Yeah. The second one. <laughs> the second one. <laughs> Perhaps you're right, 137. Of course I'm right. You kidding me? A cryptosporidium captured by a bunch of monkeys? We gotta go in. We gotta crack some craniums. We gotta rescue me. Him. He's gotta rescue me. I mean, well, we gotta. <laughs> I gotta. Brains, man. When do I get to blow things up? Patience, crypto. Oh my Patience. God. He's crazy. <laughs> He's crazy. <laughs> He's crazy. <laughs> Prepare the mothership. That's uh, what I'm talking oh about. Oh boy. Here we go. What's the name of this crummy. Yeah, fair the series of high. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh no, you seem pretty excited about this. <laughs> I sure am. Sounds fun to destroy the human race. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> you fool. Uh, who are you? <laughs> My number is 639, and I am from the Cytoxi alien race. And you were disguising as my girlfriend? <laughs> yes, I was, and I'm surprised you handled it for that long and actually fell for it. Oh my god. What <laughs> what is wrong with you, man? I thought I was gonna have like, <laughs> go, like a nice like a uh, play a nice game with my girlfriend, and then you just showed up! Well, I was forced here by my own free will, so I figured that I would have a little fun of my own. Who exactly forced you? Take a wild guess. You're a leader? <laughs> Ask me, you fool! She was all like, hey man, you should go on ahead and come over and play this game, and then she locked me in her room! Uh-huh. Wait a second. You know what, if I can recall correctly, in the, that Metopia um, playthrough, there was a, uh, like a blue... A guy with a blue hair that, that, that was being a little... Being like all sarcastic, named Blight. That is my code name. Yes. Ah, so you're that guy. And that is how you shall will address me. Okay. So apparently, I play an alien game with an alien. <laughs> I prefer extraterrestrial myself or Cystoxin. Well, I don't care. I'm calling you an alien. Because <laughs> that's how we we <laughs> uh we put that. Those kind of beings, okay? It was still fun to trick you like that. <sighs> oh, God. Have a good, have a good... It just shows how foolish you humans are. I gotta get a, a few choice words with Aspie after this. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I was like uh, aware that I'm gonna be playing a game with a freaking alien. <laughs> <laughs> well, she didn't really know either. She didn't know that. I would be having a little fun of my own by my shape-shifting ability. Oh my god. Well, at least you're talking uh, proper English instead of saying moo moo like those other aliens th that I met. <sighs> what makes you think I would be like that? I know plenty of languages, even cows speak. <laughs> well, that's the aliens Took that... Took me a while to understand those milkers. Well, that's the, the language that the, the aliens that we've met apparently know all of. Ugh. Those aliens are fools. We are not the same species. Yay. <clears throat> huh? So I kinda got lots of what the, our objective is. We're, tr we're trying to, uh, save a, a different alien. Get captured by the military, I guess? It seems that way. Okay. I guess if on that splash feed, we're gonna be doing some tele uh, like telepathic uh, powers on a on freaking cows. <laughs> <laughs> I bet the cryptosporidiums do not have a chance against my abilities uh, from my species. Uh, oh. Is that <laughs> Auto box to cryptosporidium one three seven. Come in, cryptosporidium. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here, and you're down there. Loathsome little planet. 
Now, Crypto, to ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactating bovoids are likely candidates. I think you could do a sleep for humans. Don't mean those a cow smelling gas bags beyond the fence. Yes, I'm afraid I do. But hey, they're yeah. covered in nipples. <laughs> no <laughs> cryptosporidium. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's kinda right. I mean they have those udders. <laughs> so they're kinda covered in nipples. <laughs> oh, that is what they're called? Yeah, alright. Do verify hmm. your suit is working under Earth's atmospheric conditions. Get a move on! Uh -huh. I guess. Alright, from the camera, uh huh. Nice. Okay, we used to count uh, paddock. We can okay. peer into the minds of lower life forms via the cortex scan. Mm. Rip the preliterate thoughts from their pathetic little brains! <laughs> okay, calm down, dude. <laughs> yes, Mill! <laughs> <laughs> Primitive, yet profound. Scan another one. I uh, guess. <laughs> well, <laughs> again with the moo. I think these lactating bovoids are trying to fool us. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> that just how even they... uh, even I knew that. They <laughs> eat with their mouths. Ugh, I think I'm going to be violently ill. Are you Ethan? <laughs> <laughs> Attention, Earth creatures. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. Uh -huh. <laughs> At this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? Well, I don't think they have any say in that. Creature, I am addressing you. Respond um. or be vaporized. Oh, God! Oh, God's sake! I don't care sake. how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. <laughs> oh, we're gonna, we're gonna kill them, aren't we? I appreciate Crypto's impatience. Suck it to the pieces. Use yeah, we, we are going to do the, this kind of sort of thing, huh? Slam them into the ground. Huh? Yep. Perfect! Oh! Perfect! Oh! <laughs> okay, then. Interesting. You guys got to find another one. Just throw them in the lake. Just get them out of the sky. <laughs> you know, this sounds pretty familiar to another situation that I've heard. You know, when the cow... spoke from the other end. We ain't. In fact, I believe that I stole a young girl's memories who happened to play a game that had another cow. Poor another. I, I'm not following you. <laughs> hmm. She played a game called Little Misfortune, I believed. Oh, that's uh, my friend Kenny and, and uh, his girlfriend Olivia Lancaster. Olivia, that was it. Her memories were tasty. What do you mean, tasty? You, you like to borrow her brain or something? No, 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 of course not. That was just saying that they were ripe and intelligent and plentiful. Oh, Martha, you didn't tell me we was having barbecue for dinner. <laughs> Wait a minute, uh, that ain't steak. That's holy That mother. is how I see all of you Martha, scum. Give me the shotgun. Uh oh, our first uh, human opponent. This looks like a job for the Zapomatic. You think you're going to be able to fight that thing? Yes. <laughs> we'll uh, beat him whoa. fair and square. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Cultural engineer. Okay, that brain. <laughs> My God. <laughs> oh, oh, we literally got his brain. <laughs> oh, so if you hear chewing in the background, that is Aspie eating. Oh, man, you I'm sorry, man. Me. I was hungry. Talking horse on the TV. I ain't never seen nothing like. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 Hi. That's sort of correct. Oh, uh, that time drives me up the wall. I mean, they, it's Thank technically you. correct. It, it, the, the only difference is they're not green. <laughs> Longest shields are have. I am teal, not fire. green. What? I am teal, not green. Okay. Protect from harm. Gauge and destroy the current yeah. charges when the shield is a fully charge. Okay. 
is a hit or touch water seals the air you deplete. Some impact impacts to deal more damage than others. Now damage further, it should only be charged after a few seconds. If I turn red, it's averaging. Any kid can be lethal. Oh boy, does that mean you would hit and I'm dead? Hmm? Like if I don't have any shields and I get hit, is that like a one hit kill? No, we have more resilience than that. You know, my shields will retreat from battle, okay? The brain stands to reduce uh, the shield recharge delay, okay? Shield recharge, but use it to drain ability on humans or vehicles instead. Be merciless! Let none survive! Alright, we're gonna kill, kill humans now! Focus mode. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, I gotta just get the brains in. <laughs> Thankfully, we do not need brains to survive. I just take the memories from the source. And that is enough for me. It lets me know more about the human race by that. Okay, uh... I do not need them as a form of sustenance. Hey, was you oh. Okay, there we go. Thank you! Uh, uh, nope. There we go. Okay. Uh, nope, nope. There we go. Oh, there's a random chicken there. You know, for a human, you do know how to use your firearms. Ah, uh, but, well, I've been playing, uh, a game Doom. called... Doom, yes, I know. How do you know that? We got a call from I can read your mind like a book. Side of State Road. <laughs> Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. Little green face, man! What <laughs> is that? A new silo? Electrocuted him with a big old Crypto! That human law enforcement officer is attempting an unauthorized entry of your spacecraft. If those pea brains were to get their hands on your quantum <laughs> deconstructor, they could rip a hole in the space time continuum. Okay, so guys, we gotta stop him. <sighs> oh, boy. oh, the Furonity. Vaporize them, we do not go for the classic UFO. We go for something more camouflage. It has an invis was... It's sort of like that invisible. Oh, okay. It's a bit like that invisible. What is it from that Wonder Woman movie? <laughs> there we go. Oh. But just so you know, we came up with that idea first of an invisible vehicle. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Are you doubting me? I don't know. <laughs> you seem pretty confident in yourself. I sure am. I know. Look up uh, a, a jerk. Why that's uh, pretty confident in himself? In Carbon. Eric Carbon. Yes. <laughs> the jerk. I tried to. I tried to take his memories, and he was just as dull as a rock. <laughs> well, he is pretty dumb. <laughs> <laughs> dumb is an understatement. Uh -huh. Take a spin in your it seems that all it is used for for is being a tub of lard just placed on the earth. It's like a giant pimple. Aha, uh -huh. that is if you can throw the saucer. Leave no trace. Bomb those monkeys back <laughs> okay, to the this is fun. Uh. Okay, there we go. I destroyed the houses now. <laughs> God dang. Hmm. Oh, I'll be charged time. Perfect! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In fact, it's great, Master, uh, Master or Commander or Lord. I don't know what they even call you. <laughs> How does it feel to be one of us right now? I'm uh, good, I guess. <laughs> I never played an <laughs> alien game before. I don't think I did. Crypto. Mm, fair enough. <sighs> You're just... You are just getting started with what we are capable of compared to you. Oh, uh, really? Like, you're, you're part of this sort of species of aliens? Move out, man. Move, we are not part of the Cryptosporidium. We are part of the Cystoxi, which I don't know, is but I've been a bit told. farther up from them. Joe good as gold. Joe McCarthy's good as gold. Good as gold. What? Oh, What's that about? The human military industry. Some military complex. lingo. We can't allow them to alert their leaders to our presence. Exterminate them now. Open fire. Oh. Well, I guess we're gonna use a slasher on these guys. <laughs> Yep, <laughs> gonna obliterate them. They don't stand a chance. All yeah, the good Katana of the game. 
<laughs> I will wait till damage, okay? <laughs> Just favorize them. <laughs> there are more to the north in the bushes. The bushes? Replenish your saucer's shields by draining any human being. Really? Uh, oh, drain. Okay, here we go. Wait. Superb! Superb. <laughs> I don't think I get like close. What else <laughs> over here? Oh, there's a thing. Go. Okay. Nice, nice. Come on, die. There we go. Uh, oh yeah, the... The shield thing. No, I guess we're good. Okay. You know, I will be honest. You are better at this than I thought. Well, I've uh, done shooting games, so... <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if you did it in real life, because I sure have. Uh huh. Not on Earth, per se, but on other galaxy like forms to gain information and resources. Right. Uh, I can s I can just tell that we probably won't get along that well, so I don't even think- I don't even know why I asked people brought us together in the first place. Well, the fact that you freaking tricked me into thinking that uh, you were disguising as my girlfriend, I'm not sure we would get along. <laughs> Having love is pointless as long. Ugh. Wow, I just I just got tongue tied. Ah. Okay, here we go. What are you mocking me? Well, you you, uh, you mess up your tongue, and so of course I would. <laughs> Don't end up like that fat lord. You wouldn't want to end up like him, would you? Well, what did you do to him specifically? <laughs> hmm. What did you do to that fat hard, which I'm guessing is Carmen? Hmm. Not much yet. He was pointless in my plan. I am able to mimic him pretty well, though. green man in a flying saucer wiping out the best infantry unit in the U.S. Army. Right. Good. Me too. Green? Not gray? Don't be a stiff. You know what it means? Absolutely. What? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. The eggheads were actually onto something? I don't believe it. Believe it. Okay. Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on. Are you like detectives or something? <laughs> mm, secret agents. Uh -huh. Mission successful. Oh, 90%. Okay. I'll kill the farmer's wife. You needed to kill the farmer's wife with a chicken. I can do that? How? It's like eat a mm. chicken and into her cranium or something? I suppose so. Cattle mutilation pandemic. You did not let me read the rest. Well, I don't yes. care, alright? <laughs> are you faker? You really are starting to turn into him. <sighs> I thought that that is who you despise the most. Shut up. Now then. Shut up. Thinking, what can I, a lowly novice, do to help bring about the destruction of Earth and the inevitable reign of the Furon Empire? Well, I'll tell you. It was in the earliest days of the Empire we realized our species was doomed. Eons of waging war on inferior races with unregulated atomic weaponry had mutated our genes. We could not propagate due to our complete and utter lack of genitalia. Fortunately, a Furon ship happened upon Earth on its way back from destroying What's so funny? the Marsh. The genitalia part. The society was young and... Childish as well, I see. Sailors on a foreign planet, letting off steam, one thing led to another. Long story short, every human being alive today has buried deep in his genetic code a strand of Furon DNA. Over the eons, we've learned to clone ourselves, but with each iteration, the information degrades, and the results are increasingly unpredictable. The Furon genes in humanity's DNA are ancient, uncorrupted, they represent the future of the Furon race. If only we can get at them. Aha, uh -huh, so that's the reason why they're killing everyone on Earth. To get this DNA of the... For their race, I guess. 
for survival interest. Welcome to my little hmm. laboratory. You may not have known this, but I flatter myself to be something of an inventor. In my spare time, I've been developing some truly hmm. impressive weapon Him ability too. upgrades. I'd be happy to share them with you. If you've got something for me in trade, say some of that delicious DNA you've collected. Hmm? <laughs> I guess so. I'll go to crypto. Uh, brain extraction? No. I guess I gotta go to the saucer. Uh... Hmm. Okay, so these are like a upgrades, it looks like? They are upgrades. Of what it seems. Uh, okay. Oh, so I'm using the, the, the DNA as currency for these upgrades, it looks like. It seems that way, yes. Ah, okay. Thanks. Nah, yes, for crypto. See if there's anything for upgrading. No. Okay, I guess we're done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, not my menu. My apologies for laughing there. I just read your mind, and you're thinking about how much you hate me right now. Oh, I wonder why! <laughs> Are you really that sensitive? She's fine. I hope she is. If, if, if you did something to her, I swear! If you did something to her, I swear! <laughs> Who do you think I am? Hey, Hulk. Define. You're a massive jerk. Like Harmon. <laughs>